Hey everybody, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Monday forecast update. Once again, starting out with the cold temperatures in place this morning. Low 40s for Shreveport eventually may drop into the 30s before sunrise here in Texarkana at 37 degrees. So we do have some freezing temperatures north of I-30. We're at 32 in Idabel and Dequeen. That will continue through sunrise here. The rest of us will probably start out the morning in the 30s here at some point and a little bit of a north breeze as well adding a bit of a wind chill to those temperatures that northeast wind this morning at about 10 miles per hour and should stay out of the northeast at a steady 10 miles per hour throughout the day today so with some of that drier air a little bit of cloud cover above we're not seeing any fog this morning but we are seeing just a few isolated showers south of interstate 20 so i've included about a 10 percent chance of rain in your forecast for today and it will be for those areas south of interstate 20 that are likely to see the rain the rest of us will uh, continue to sit under those partly to mostly cloudy skies at times you may see that sunshine pop out a little bit today but you can see some of that rain popping up just a little bit of a disturbance out there this morning and uh, this is the overall weather pattern this isn't going to change much this week we've got a big low up in the uh, four corners region here and what that is doing it's tilted that pacific jet stream into the architects once again the last few times we have seen uh, some heavy rain here across the region it has been this kind of setup where the low just kind of sits out there throughout the week and kind of churns some rainfall towards us as a few disturbances will kind of make their way over mexico texas and into the architects uh, especially tomorrow. So to enjoy the dry conditions we do have lined up for most areas today, upper 30s and low 40s this morning. And as we go into the afternoon, again, should uh, see afternoon highs top out in the 40s and low 50s for most locations. Uh, 53 today in Shreveport, upper 40s, Texarkana, and uh, mid 50s for Toledo Bend, where you may pick up a little bit of rain early in the day today. Here's your look at Futurecast. Again, uh, it doesn't pick up on the clouds that are out there this morning, but it definitely picks up on the rain making its way in tomorrow morning. So by the time we get to sunrise, should have some showers ongoing and uh, try to pick out the dry conditions as we go through the day. Pretty much impossible to do that for your Tuesday. This is round one of what will likely be two pushes of rainfall as we go through the upcoming week and you see some of that rain uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening could be particularly heavy and we should see it taper off a bit as we go through the morning on Wednesday. Included a slight chance of rain for your Wednesday with that next push of rain making its way in Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. So just tomorrow alone we could see several inches of rain across the region. I'll take us through next weekend. Uh, in addition, we do have that rainfall on the way Thursday and uh, especially it looks like Friday into Saturday here. So this is GFS or American model been fairly consistent in showing those two to four inch amounts. And even the European model now is hinting at uh, potentially some four to five inch accumulations across the region. Uh, and again, right now it is showing the heavier bullseye of rain across Louisiana and Arkansas, but we could easily see that build up uh, into the northern Arkeltex as well. So a lot that we'll watch as far as the rainfall this week. Again, we get a break today, may have a little bit of a break Wednesday, but we are likely to see the rain turn, return Thursday. And a uh, warm front moving across the region Friday, Saturday will return our highs to the 60s after being in the 40s and 50s to start the week. But with that, more, with that warm air uh, in place next Friday and Saturday, there is going to be the potential there that we do see some uh, strong thunderstorms, especially Friday into Saturday. Go we'll see uh, Mardi Gras parades there. I'll move the icon, but those are definitely playing out Saturday. So uh, if you are potentially going out to the Mardi Gras parades this weekend. Keep a close eye on how this forecast develops. Again, far enough away, we could see some changes with that Saturday forecast. But right now, looks like rain and thunderstorms, a pretty good bet Friday into Saturday.